guys how you doing today it's me kelly so today what we're going to do is paint another magazine face you guys loved when i did this the last time you guys have been requesting more so we're going to do some more so i can't decide whether i want to do this one or this one i think i'm just going to do this one i think it might be a little easier so yeah let's do it now you guys know i love doing you know making it more uh I don't know you can do a clowny or whatever i don't know but look you can save these pictures of these colors um don't throw them away and i'm just going to kind of cut this and i'm going to save this and put this back in my magazine bag because you never know and let's take a pencil and what i'm going to do is kind of draw kind of where Kind of like this, just so it like extends the face a bit. So there's kind of a chin. And obviously we're gonna paint this. And I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. And I'm not gonna cut any of that off. Now I'm gonna use some. I'm gonna use some Titan Buff. And you can use whatever color you want, whatever color you have, it doesn't matter. Go in your magazine. If you don't have magazines, go to your like local library because they always have. Um, now you can gesso this too, but I'm gonna skip that this time. I got asked to to if you could do it without gesso. Of course you can. Might need a couple coats, but it's all good. Um, go to your local library or your local even your dollar store or grocery store when you're leaving out in the. Um, like when you go out the outdoors, there are like realtor books and like sometimes they have magazines there. Your local library gets rid of them uh, every month when they are, you know, when the new ones come out. So you always can find magazines or, you know, ask your friends, maybe friends who don't paint or uh, don't do art. Maybe they get some magazines because every kind of magazine has pictures in it. And there's nothing, uh, you know, you don't need anything specific. And I hope you guys are having a, a good day today. I've been playing and getting some stuff done that I wanted to get done. I've been doing my, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a fly. To do, to add on to my, um, what's a key? I gotta put some stuff on. To add on to my odd girls, I got a bunch of odd girls done. Glitter. Mm -mm -mm. So that's what I've been playing with today. I'm finishing up a commission I'm almost done with. So I've been pretty, pretty busy. And I just put up my video for um, an art journal page where I did a heart and mixed media background on our journal page, which I'll link it up above and down below. If you did not see it, go check it out. If you're into art journaling or want to be, it's a great mixed media um, page. I did get requested to do, um, to show how I did this on the book paper. So I probably will be doing a, a video on that, but it's very simple. Um, but I know sometimes you need to see it, so I'm good with that. So you can see. I'm going to take my paper towel. Now, my husband's parents were in, his family was in, and they were here for quite a few days. And I didn't get to start Big Brother, but we started it last night. I can only watch half of the first one because I was exhausted. But um, I'm going to put another coat on this just real quick. You don't really have to because I, this is going to be, um, you know, we're just playing. But I'm not going to put it over the eyes this time, as you can see, or the nose. I'm just going to kind of stick with the face itself, you know, the chin, the cheeks. I'm sorry, brush there for a minute. But anyway, so we started Big Brother last night. Um, I have, and then I see that another one was last night. <laughs> so I've got to catch up. But if, or any of you watching it, do not give anything away or what have you. I don't know. 
who got kicked off, please don't do that. But let me know down below who you like. And if you haven't started watching it, maybe you, it's a reality show. And, um, I've been watching it for years. I mean, I, I want to say 15 years. Am I wrong? Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys are thinking or, you know, if you've watched it for the first time this season, I think it's on CBS. If I am remembering correctly. Yeah, see how we did that? And look at that. You don't even know what was under there, but you can still see the eyes. Um, so we can go over them and you can still see the mouth and it just gives it a little bit of a gesso type. Um, now I did it with the color that I'm going to use for my face. I, you know, usually I use, um, my, oh my God, would you please turn here? Turn please. I usually use, excuse my arm. I got the goosebumps. Don't ask. It's not, not feeling very good. Uh, like light flash or, um, Santa's flash or medium, you know, whatever it face colors, you know, uh, because I love these so much, but I'm almost out of them. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this today. I think, um, because it is another flesh color. It's just a little bit more, um, neutral, but it doesn't matter. Mix your own color. If you want, you can definitely mix up your own flesh color. I have videos on that too. If you want to redo, you want me to do another video on how to fix mixed flesh colors using regular paints, let me know and I will do so for you, which is a great thing to learn because um, it's a great thing to learn because then you don't have to worry if you run out. I enjoy just using these full color flesh colors because they're really good. And I do enjoy them, but you know, hey. Okay, so I'm going to go a little darker on here, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is use my water-soluble Stabilo all. This is just a water-soluble. Of course, you can use a pen. Should I use a pen? Since most people probably have a pen. Probably. Oh, well, I do enjoy this. Okay, let me, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Let me try to find a pen. Uh, oh, let me find a pen. All right. All right. I'm going to use this pen. I don't know if this is a permanent or not. Here's a Pilot Precise V5 RT. I have tons of uh, pens that I absolutely love, but we're going to do this without the Stabilo. Well, let's get to getting. All right. So I'm going to do the eye first. And obviously, I'm going to move in a little bit, but you can see the eye. And I'm going to go now, if you want to use a pencil, you can use a pencil first, if that makes you feel a little safer. And that's what I'll do here just to show you. And you don't have to follow it completely. You can add a little bit of your own thing to it. Your own, you put your, put your own stank on it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the heck I'm saying. What am I? What am I even saying? All right. You see, I'm kind of drawing that eye. I added a little boop there, and then I'm going to go do this eye. Just like that. You see? And you can see it's kind of, you know, we're going to make it a little darker, but you can see kind of where that's going. And then the eyeballs here. Again, put your stank on it. Remember, this is progress, not perfection. This is about enjoying the process, enjoying doing it, having fun, looking at it and saying, you know what, maybe I don't want the eye over that way. Maybe I'm sitting here looking and I want the eyes in the middle. You can do whatever you want, but I'm following this. So I can see two nostrils here. I'm sure you can too, two dark spots. So I'm just going to kind of do that until I figure out the nostril situation and give it a little like that. Obviously, you know, I could change that, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then I'm just going to go in. And add the nose. And then here's the mouth. Now I kind of gonna erase that. And that's the nice thing with putting the acrylic down to um, even just so you can uh, kind of erase. I'm not pushing hard. That's my dog snoring. I'm so sorry. 
I'm going to make the mouth I'm kind of doing my own mouth and I will play with it when I'm done to make it a little better but just kind of putting that in now I can see that I don't want this over here this looks like my face fat <laughs> I got a full face hey what are you gonna do but I think I'm gonna cut some of this off so I will paint around here but what I'm gonna do is now is when I'm gonna kind of play for a second so I'm gonna take my chin down here and bring it up like this and just this will make all the difference and you'll see we'll just add some hair or something and I'm gonna trace it like this kind of put the neck in like that all right this is just sketching out we're using our pencil sketching out all right now I'm gonna do the um, eyebrows so I'm gonna put I'm gonna make them a little curious like that and then we're gonna do all the hair like this did it a little too long it's okay and then oh yeah all right so you see how we're doing that and then I'm gonna just kind of take it up there so I have an idea where I'm at okay so now yeah the eyes look a little funky and all that no big deal I'm gonna look at them I'm gonna say you know what this I'm gonna move over a little bit more because it kind of looks like she's cross-eyed so I'm gonna take my eraser very gently and just erase the eyeballs and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some white paint okay and this is just my wicker white from uh, folk art which I love me the pain and I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint white now you can also draw this without even having anything underneath if you want if you don't have a magazine paper but you kind of want to draw draw it but I'm gonna lay this in because this is gonna give me a better idea of how I want the eyes I don't know if I want the eyes like that okay not a big deal Alright, now I'm going to dry just a little bit. And I'm not worrying too much. I'm not getting like hung up on, you know, oh, this, that, the other. I'm having fun. And that's the whole point. So now I'm going to take my brush again. And... I'm going to take a little bit more of the white, just a little bit, just a little bit, and I'm going to kind of lay in these nostrils a little more so I can kind of see where I'm at, because I want that to be, that's going to end up being dark under there, but just to lay it, and I think I'm going to lay just a little bit of this in the lips. So let it dry so color you know the color will pop a little bit more do you have to do this now yeah don't you can just go straight for color use your you can use markers uh, Crayola markers colored pencils whatever you have okay yeah then I'm gonna put this away for now because I'm going to need that. I'm going to hit this one more time with my heat gun. Okay. I'm going to rinse my brush again and then I'm going to pick a light green for the eyes. Now, 
I think I'm going to just, let's see. I'm going to kind of draw in eyes. A little more than the sideways ones. And let's see, let's see how we make out with these. Pick whatever color you want, blue, green, purple, I don't care, you use it yours. Before I go with, with the uh, marker or pen, whatever you're going to use. And this is when your watercolor uh, pencils or, um, you know, markers that aren't, uh, you know, watercolor markers that aren't permanent, whatever you have, we'll be playing with those and you can definitely use them. And this is why it's called mixed media. And this is mixed media here. Mixed media can be very, uh, you know, simple. It's a magazine paper. We used pencil. We used uh, acrylic paint. We're going to use a marker. That's all, you know what I mean? Mixed media. We're mixing the medias. All right. And this is so much fun for, for anybody. This is fun to do with the kids. You can make this into a clown because y'all know I love me some clowns, especially creepy clown, clowns. Um, but yeah, so you definitely can, you know, do whatever you want. Now I'm going to take a little darker green. What is that called? Grass green? I can't see today. I took my uh, one needle and gave me a terrible ocular migraine. Eh, I'm so sorry. Turn that off. All right, now I'm going to take some of this off of here just so it's not so clumpy. But I want it to be a little darker. I'm going to go around. And I do that sometimes, or I'll have a piece of paper around it, you know, where I could dip off. You dip, I dip, we dip. All right. Okay. See? Let's see. Yeah. Look how cool that looks, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Well, that dries. I'm going to do the lips. What color do we want to do the lips? Do the lips. Hmm. I don't have any color sitting here. Mm. I'm going to my dog here. Um, just go for a red. <clears throat> Why don't we? Let's go for a podge orange. Okay. Let's go for an orange. I'm going to give it a shake. going to give it a shake. You can see it's like a orangey red, which... I'm all for. My daughter looks great in these colors. This is not my daughter, however, so. All right, so now I'm just kind of going in. I think I might close those li lips a little bit more, make them a little smaller. And you can definitely draw with your pencil if you want to see how you want the lips. I just think I overdrew them compared to what I want. But who knows? So I'm not going to worry about it right this second. I'm just going to put where I think I want them. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move it a little bit more. Over this way. And then I'll line it in later. Okay, so there we go for that. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I know I have to clean it up with some, you know, more of my face color, but I'm going to let it dry. Wash my brush off. Close this because I will end up with it all over me. Now, I want to, let's do the, I'm going to use my marker. Oops. And I'm going to go in for the eyebrows, I think. And let's see if how this is going to re react. And I'm just going to draw in. Let's 
my eyebrows. Oh yeah. All right. Let's do over here. Use whatever you have, whatever watercolor pencil, watercolor marker, or black marker, it doesn't matter. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now I'm going to trace the eye. Do over here too. And you know, this gives you a little bit more confidence to just to play, you know? Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a small my small brush, I'm gonna wet it just a little bit, and I'm gonna go in the eyebrow first. And what I'm doing is now if you have India ink, that would be great to use for this too. I love painting with India ink. I have a, a canvas I did. A bird it's sold but that I did with just India ink and different color uh, tonalities so I love using India ink maybe I'll do a India ink uh, another painting okay see how we got that and how it kind of liquefies it now you can wet your brush again if you want just dab it off we're dabbing we're dabbing and go in with the eyes. I'm going to make it dark underneath. I'm not going to pull it up into the white. I'm going to try to pull it down, but obviously do. You know, I'm just going back and forth, but you do you. If you have Faber, uh, Faber Castell um, markers, like black, like I use, you definitely can do this and then smudge it because it won't become permanent until it dries, but um, just make sure you do one at a time, like draw and then do what you're gonna do because once it dries, they're permanent and then you're not gonna be able to move them. But uh, you do have a little window to play with them, which I love, and then they become permanent. You can use your Derwent ink tents, you can do whatever you want with these. And you see, I'm just kind of pulling it down. Don't worry. I want it to be smudgy. And I can go back in with white if I want. I don't have to. And you don't even have to smudge if you don't want. I'm just going to be smudging today. I think you get the picture. Now let's work on the nose. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to. Now I'm going around. You can see here the pencil and I'm going to erase that, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just kind of going in and firming up the nose a little bit, doing the thick line around it. And then I'm going to do the. You see that? So I don't even know if I'm going to have to erase because I'm going to smudge it out a little bit, but you can erase it. You can use a Q-tip as well if you don't have a small brush. Use a Q-tip. That'll work too. Now obviously I'm going to erase right there, but you'll see. So I'm just going to kind of Do the nose like that. And I can always go in. And erase if there's any uh, bits that I don't want. And then I can go in and Kind of draw that line in a little bit like a bridge of the nose and just liquefy that a little bit. Yes. 
see. Now, I'm going to trace the eyes. The eyeballs, rather. What are they called? Pupils. I think, no, pupils are in the middle. I'm going to do the eyeballs. The color part. Just so they kind of stand out a little bit. And I'm going to blow them out a little bit. So, And I'll use a Q-tip to show you. Okay. Where'd my Q-tips go? Excuse my arm. I'm going to wet a Q-tip. I don't want it soaking wet. I'm going to kind of roll it just to get some of that off. And then just go in and like kind of. Move it around a little bit. So it gives some shadow. See how it gives a little bit of shadow? Then you can go back in if you want more. And you can use your black paint for this too. You don't have to, you know, or your watercolor marker. You don't have to use a marker, you know, you can use black paint if you don't have a marker that you want to use. We're just making it more mixed media. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And I'm going to trace the lips. But first, what I'm going to do is just go around the um, gun. And that just takes a second. We're not going, we're just playing here. We're not going for winning a contest. We're just having fun. Okay. While I have this out, I'm just going to go just the littlest bit and just touch up a little bit where I erased. Over the nose. And you can use your Q-tip for this as well. I'm just putting a little bit. On it. Okay. Can you see? All right. Not a big deal. I'm going to do this real quick. Right. And then we're just going to trace on the outside again. You can do paint. And we'll smudge it a little bit. We'll use our Q-tip again. So I just kind of want to lay this down. And you can put lines on the lips because, you know, we all have lines and all that stuff. You can be as fit as you want to be. And I still have this damp. So I'm just going in. I want to blow it out a little bit. That's what I like to call it with the black. Just go over it and trace. Don't be scared. I'm going to take the other side and just give it a quick, you can wet it if you want more of the uh, black lifted, but I, I like that darker. Okay. I might have to clean it up a little bit. Not going to worry about it. I just like that dark shadow around it. And now we have to do the inside of the eyes. So we're going to put the pupils. And I'm just going in in the middle. I'm not gonna, not gonna worry too much about it. Just going in the middle where I see the middle, and I'm coloring in a circle. You can of course, you know, worry about it and do all that. I want her. I mean, obviously she's looking a little crazy. Now I'll show you what we can do to kind of make it a little bit more. I don't know, a little bit better of an eye, but. Um, 
So it's not so like, whoo, right? Not a big deal. But um, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna do my, one more time. I'm just gonna go around this mouth. I want it a little, I like that shading, but it's a little too much shading and that's okay. Mistakes happen, things happen. Your paint doesn't always behave the way you want it to. I love the way it made that paint look, the red, orange. Okay. I like to tap sometimes or dab or whatever you want to call it because it just, I don't know, I think it gives better coverage sometimes. All right. That's all I got to do for that. Now let me show you what we can do <clears throat> for the line here. So we see how the eyes like wide awake and it's looking at you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start here in the corner right here. And I'm going to follow that top. And what's going to happen is it's going to make it our eyelid. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'll start in the middle. And cut that. And yes, it's cutting some of the um, eye out, but that's kind of what you want. And I'm just going to scribble a little bit here because I'm going to liquefy this and wet it with my brush. Now, if you want to make this black permanent, mix a little Mod Podge with water. And I can always want, but that, that's how I like to make things permanent for if I'm going to glue this in and want to put a coat over top. But look how that changed that. And we're going to fix that pupil. This one, you're going to really see the change right here. Okay. I see how it's like she looks a little more, you know, a little sexier. Now we can even cut put some of the dark here. All right. Now here, I'm just going to bring this eye, this pupil eye up a little bit more. You see how it kind of cuts off and I can even take lower if I want right there. There we go. You see? And that's, you know, basic of what it is. Now we can add hair. Now let's do some <clears throat> yellow. We'll do, well, now what, you know what, let's do black. Let's do black while we're here since we're going to, I'm going to do a squeeze of black. I'm going to take my brush. Now my brush is wet, but I want to you know, I like to liquefy black sometimes, but I want it to be a little bit more um, opaque. And I'm going to start here and I'm just going to go around where I have the face, where I have that line. And you don't have to be so precise. Now I'm using a, um, a craft sheet, so I'm not caring about, and I'm going to put the hair this way. I'm not caring if it gets on here. Use a piece of uh, paper underneath of you or, you know, whatever you have. So you don't have to worry about painting on anything and ruining anything. And then you get, you know, you start another mixed media page. But you see how, look at how hair is changing, right? I'm going to do over here. Take it down. And then where I have my line up here. And you can see how helpful it is when you don't care if you're painting underneath when you're doing something like this. Now, I'm not going to bring too much hair here on the edge because obviously it's her face, but I'm just going to do a little bit like to just to like the illusion of hair, I guess. Right. 
and then I don't even think I'm gonna do right there the bangs do I want to do it maybe I should maybe I'm not digging it as much as I think let's just give her some some bangs you don't have to my dog is snoring so loud <laughs> all right but look at that and you can we can do something fancy let's do let's just do straight across bangs you know how because emily would cut her bangs like that so that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna let this be for a second i'm gonna do them like this and of course you could do two coats you can do you know whatever you want and there is your magazine picture that you did and if you want, you can definitely take your paintbrush if you want, like that underneath the line, the eye. I might want a little darker, so I might just take my paintbrush, the small, dip it in that black a little bit. I love the smudge underneath, but I might just go in and darken it. And the same over here. Just to make it a little darker and you know and that's probably it that's probably all i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna trace these lips one more time because i want them to really and you can use your gel pens too your whatever gel pens you have whatever you want And that's what I'm going to do. And what I also like to do at the end, just as a little, a little ploop, is I like to take the back of my paintbrush or whatever you have. I like to dip it. It's a little much. And I like to give them just little highlights in their eyes. <laughs> and then I'm so cheap. I'm like scraping off so I don't lose any. Um, a little highlights just to kind of, you know, just to do that kind of thing. And of course you can go in, you can, you know, kind of make it look like she has highlights in her hair. You know? Like she has some gray in there. Like me. Oh, it's just so fun. It's so fun to sit and do this. Do whatever color hair you want. Oh, okay. I'm done. I'll stay here and play all day. So, how much fun is that? Look what we did. You can, like I said, you can use a Q-tip and if you want to bring the hair even more, you know, on the face, go ahead. It's yours. Do whatever you want. My paint's starting to dry, but because I have a fan on. And maybe my dog snoring so loud is not going to help it, right? No. But you definitely can bring it more on the face. You can take, you know what I mean? You can add different colors. You can add glitter you can do whatever you want and it's fantastic and so much fun so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did please share me around i'd really appreciate it and leave me a thumbs up uh, i really appreciate it because i know uh that you guys enjoyed this and if you're new to my channel and just found me you can subscribe down below and click the bell next to it to be notified of my new videos as i upload them and if you do this please you can find me all over. My social media is down below. You can find me everywhere. Friend me, follow me. I follow back. Show me what you do. Tag me. I love seeing what you guys do. And as always, remember, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. And we're doing progress, not perfection. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for spending the time with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.